What's going on guys? I'm Mike Romain from SuperheroJack.com, the place where fitness meets everything nerd and pop culture. Today I'm doing a video on how you can tell if cardio is affecting your gains or your losses or if it's affecting your overall performance and transformation in general. So basically we're talking about all things cardio. We have a lot of people that are trying to add in and supplement cardio into their routines, whether the routine is calling for cardio and they want to add more or whether the routine is calling for cardio and they want to know how it's affecting them, if they could do it before or after their workout, what does cardio do for you, and we're going to keep it about how it affects your calorie counts, how it affects you performing into your workout, how it affects things, whether or not I prefer to do it before or after, but we'll get a little bit more in depth, but I really want to talk about how it would specifically affect your gains if you're trying to gain weight, or how it would specifically help your fat loss. So we're going to start with that and then we'll go a little bit more into it. So before we get going, if you guys are here for any updates on book club or anything else, I just want to throw out the reminder that that's going to be taking place on What's Up Wednesday. That takes place on the Wednesday before each month. We'll be announcing the following month's challenge, the book club, anything about me that I want to go over and anything about the academy and anything else. That will take place in that video. You can watch your first What's Up Wednesday from the end of last month on the channel already. But let's get into the video. Let's crack the monster, cue the music, and get it. All right, so let's talk about cardio. First of all, I want to say that cardio does not just have to be running. Cardio does not just have to be the bike, the elliptical. For example, CrossFit workouts can be considered cardio. You're bringing your heart rate up. You're performing in a cardiovascular type routine. And when you're doing circuit training or supersets or things that are bringing your heart rate up, we can consider these things cardio as well. They are improving your heart health. They are improving your overall health. They can help to reduce your stress and improve your sex life. And a lot of things go into cardiovascular activity. So it's not just the running or the cardio before or after your workout. It can be in your workout as well, depending on what program you choose. So I'll get that out of the way, and I will say that we're specifically, for the sake of this video, talking about cardiovascular work before or after or added in on top of your programming. So we're not talking about the specific workout when you go to the gym and you might do a superset or a circuit or something like that. We're talking about adding in on top running or biking or rowing or some type of extra cardio on top of your workout or within your workout. Let's say you're doing a three-day split and you're adding in two days of cardio, two days of specific hiking or cardio where you're running or something like that on top of it. We're talking about how that might affect it. If you do 20 to 30 minutes before your workout or 20 to 30 minutes after your workout, how these things come into play if they're kind of an add-on and how they would affect your gains or your losses. So let's talk about the fact that if you haven't been watching the videos, you need to know right away that in order to gain weight, you need to be in a surplus of calories. In order to lose weight, you need to be in a deficit of calories. That goes without saying, but it has to be said because you need to know that in order to get what I'm going to tell you about cardio. So for example, if your goal is to lose weight and you add in cardio on top, whatever cardio you do is helping you get more into a deficit. So let's say, for example, you get one of our programs, a superhero program, and it calls you to eat 2,000 calories a day, which is 250 to 500 calories under your caloric maintenance, and that's putting you in your deficit already, and that's adding in your activity level, and now you would like to add in another two to three days of cardio. Let's say you burn two to 300 calories on top for those two to three days. Now let's say you're under 500 calories on top of that, well, guess what? That 500 calories is now putting you more into a deficit. So that is helping your weight loss, that is helping your fat loss, as long as you're not going to the extreme of burning 500 to 1,000 calories under another 500 to 1,000 calorie deficit that you're already in, where you're then burning muscle, you are going to be okay with adding in this extra cardio to help keep you in a deficit and put you even more into a deficit for added fat loss. So that's right off the bat. That one's easy because as we know, it's a lot easier to not eat the food than it is to burn it with cardio. That's why we say you can out train your diet. It's so easy to eat 400 calories. I'll eat, literally eat a cinnamon roll right now, have 400 calories, but it's going to take me an hour to burn that 400 calories. So the diet is going to be the king, but if you add in cardio, it is helping all those other things that we went over like cardiovascular health and your health overall, and also keeping you and helping you get into that deficit. So now, the tricky part is what about when we are trying to gain weight? What happens if I wanna work on my endurance and I wanna work on my cardiovascular health and I wanna work on my health overall and I just wanna be more healthy and do things like hiking and jogging and rowing and all these other things and these cardiovascular things I wanna be added on top, like maybe mixed martial arts. Maybe I'm working with Coach Derek in the academy and it's keeping my cardio up and I'm burning more calories. Well, those are things that you're actually going to have to really work with and keep track of because if you're going over the activity level that's in one of the superhero programs, let's say you're on the bulk and strength and we're having you eat 3,000 calories per day and that's keeping you over 250 to 500 calories, but then you're adding in mixed martial arts with Coach Derek or you're adding a couple miles of running two, three times a week. You're doing a 5K, you're training for a 5K, you're going hiking and you're burning calories. Now let's say you burn 250 calories per day over 
what we think you're going to be burning based on your activity level for what we've programmed. Now if you were only over 250 calories per day and you burned it, now you're not gaining any weight at all. If you were over 500 calories per day and now you've burned half of that, well now you might only gain half a pound per week and you've only gained two pounds in the entire month and it feels like these gains are coming slow. I understand people want to work on cardiovascular health and add in this cardio and endurance training, but it is something to be wary of because you might have to up your calories to account for it. Now that being said, I will talk about doing cardio before or after your workout. I specifically change it up depending on what type of workout I do and I tell people all the time, do it based on how you perform. Test things out, test it out for a week or two, test it out for a month, change after a month and see how you like it the other way and whichever you like better, do it that way. So personally, if I'm cutting and I'm adding in the extra cardio because I want to actually add on top of my routine and I want it to help me get into a deficit, well then I do 30 minutes before my workout and then I do 30 minutes after. If I'm adding it in on top of like a bulk and I'm just doing 15 to 30 minutes because I would like to improve my endurance and improve my cardiovascular health and I just want to be overall healthy while I'm bulking and I am accounting for those calories, then I'm going to do it after the workout because I'm probably focusing in on strength and I want all of my energy to go to my big compounds, which I'm starting my workouts with like bench, squat, deadlift, military press, stuff like that. If I do 15 to 30 minutes before, it might take away from those exercises that might tire me out. So maybe I'll do like a five to 10 minute active warm up where I'm just walking really slow on the treadmill. Something like that I wouldn't count, but I'm not going for a jog. I'm not doing high intensity interval training. I'm not adding things like that in prior to my big lifts because for me personally, it will tire me out. But when I do something like a cutting workout and I'm doing supersets and I'm doing things that are endurance training within my workout already, I may still have a compound lift, but I'm not really pushing for strong five by fives. I'm not really PRing and I could still go up heavy in weight and the cardio doesn't seem to affect my workouts, even if I'm doing 30 to 60 minutes prior to that, because I generally can still lift pretty heavy after that. And that's me personally. So you're going to have to test out what it is specifically for you. But keep in mind, I do get a lot of questions on fasted cardio as well. And while there might be arguments that it is better for your health and it is a good thing to do, I won't negate that because I do fast every single day, 16 to 18 hours, and we do promote intermittent fasting. And we do like to use it as a tool for satiation and for weight loss and just for controlling how you eat in general. I will say that it isn't going to help you in your deficit anymore. It's not going to help you burn more fat if you do fasted cardio because you still need to be in that deficit. It's not putting you in more of a deficit. If you overeat or you're not doing enough to get into the deficit and you're doing fasted cardio, it's not helping you more so than just getting you closer to that deficit or putting you in that deficit. That is what the cardio would do regardless of if it's fasted or not fasted. So from an aspect of weight loss, the fasted cardio or the regular cardio, do it either way. Do what is more sustainable for you. That's kind of what I talked about on the last How To Tuesday is don't really complicate things. Kind of focus in on what you need to do to make your workouts and your diet sustainable. And the same goes for cardio. You just have to be wary about if you're trying to gain weight and you're doing cardio, it might be counterproductive. You just have to account for that. You have to eat more. You have to get more calories in your body in order to stay in a surplus, in order to gain muscle, in order to gain mass. So that's what you need to know about cardio. I hope I didn't overcomplicate it. There was a lot more I could have been talking about, but I said to myself, you know what? This is really what people ask for. Let me hit on what people are asking for specifically. And if they want to know more, I could do another video on more scientific stuff on what people say. And I try to hit both perspectives. I try not to take a specific side. That's why I like to talk about what I think is really important, the surplus and the deficit and where it helps and how you guys need to find what's sustainable for you and what helps you specifically. Don't worry about what everybody else is doing. Worry about what's going to work for you, how you like to fit it in, and just know that you need to be in either that deficit or the surplus depending on your goals. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Smash the thumbs up button if you did. Subscribe to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching.